it's a very good thing that I am good at making mistakes because my audio from my recorder didn't seem to capture this seemed to have missed it or something I'm not 100% certain of what happened but doesn't matter because it's a good teaching tool luckily I caught my voice that's a little bit lower but I caught my voice in the GoPro that I had in hand what I need to do since I don't want any audio coming through on here I have to get it off of this track the way that you do that is very simple just simply right click it go up here to detach audio and click it and so you can see it now push this audio down and I'll take care of that in a second and uh, in fact I'll tell you what let's go ahead and let's, let's take care of that right now I'm just gonna chop off that little bit so this will match up <clears throat> and then we will grab it's just a one piece of audio so no big deal we'll just throw that back up there now of course it it pushed mine Yeah, I thought so, to right there. So we'll bring this back. Like so. And then, I've got to detach this. So it's the same way, just click it to highlight it. Right click it, click Detach Audio. And there's that, so that's good. And then we'll, we'll move the rest of this. So I'll just grab that. We'll go all the way down here to the end. Grab that. So now every bit of this audio is highlighted so I can move it together. So I'm just going to move it right on down here. Scroll over a little bit more. Move it on down. And then we're just going to kick this up. Now I'll go back, get everything synced back up. But you can see that. Um, I definitely make mistakes, and so I'll probably take that out of there. But I'll get everything synced up again. Uh, this, but this should be easy because this is actually audio from the GoPro that I had in hand. And then after that, we'll pick it right back up. Okay, so you can see that up here, I've added a little piece of footage. This is from GoPro handheld. And what I want to do is I want to create what's called a picture-in-picture. In Pinnacle Studio, they call it Studio PIP, which stands for Picture in Picture, if you don't know that. So Studio Picture in Picture is what we're going to be looking for. So I've added my video up here on this line. As you can see, very first track, and uh, my main video course is here on the second track. And um, so I've got this one highlighted, you can see. So what I'm going to do is simply double-click this double left click it and you can see we're on effects I'm gonna go over here to where it says 2d 3d click on that over here you see studio PMP we're gonna click on that now you can see it creates a little little box there for us and it goes to the default but I, I don't really like the default per se I mean if we do any of these things here it would it would take it to let's hit bottom right corner and so see that would go down there but that's not where I like it so what what I like to do is just go to hit no preset and then I want to go here to size and I want to size this thing down quite a bit and uh, just work on both of these and you can see it will shrink it and I don't want it to take up a whole lot of space so I want to get this on down. Let's see. Yeah, that looks. It's not too bad. Maybe. Yeah, I want it to look all squished like it's fat either. Let me bring this one down a little bit more. Okay. Now, so then what I'm going to do. We'll go with that size for now. I'll hit go to positioning. See, we got horizontal and vertical. If I push this over like this, it goes to the right. And then when you get close to the edge, you see it really likes to dive off. So you got to be real careful. This is where a little bit of movement goes a long way. Literally. I want to do it just a little bit more, about 
Well, <coughs> let's see. I guess in the 28 range, yeah, let's do that. And if I move this one to the right, <coughs> it will go up on me. And so, of course, I want to get it up in this corner with just a little bit of the bottom video showing through. So, let's get that up just a little bit more. And then once I get it up to where I, I like it to be on the page here, on the screen, then I like to go down to border. Just click on that little arrow and open that up. You can click on this little white box, and then you can pick a color that you want. And let's just, just go with green. You click in here, we hit apply. You see that turns to green. Now that's the width and the height that I want to mess with here. So if I go width like that, you can see I get two little bars on the left and the right side. <coughs> um, not too wide, I guess. Let's look at the height here now. This will do the bottom and the top for us. And uh, I got them a little bit thicker, so I think I'll back that off just a hair. That's close enough right there to where they're, they're pretty similar in size. And, uh, you know, if you don't think that that, that part pops out enough, uh, we can always go down here and yeah, let's try a let's try a nice light blue like that. And you can see that changes that. And uh, is that good enough? I don't know. Let's maybe try a little bit of the yellow here and see what what that looks like. We want, we want the box to stand out, so I think I'll go ahead and stick with that. So all we'll do is hit OK. Now you can see. It's, uh, we've got this little pink line here, and see when I put my mouse like that, you can see it says FX, because that's an effect that we just added, and so that's what that pink line's all about, and you can see this has to render out this entire piece of video here, and so as soon as that gets done, we'll come back, and, and then we'll start taking a look at it and, and seeing what we've got, and make sure everything's lined up and all that. So I've been working on this for a little while to get this lined up. It's still not 100% absolute exact, but it's very, very, very close. So, this is good enough to show you that, of course, again, there's our little pinkish purplish line that uh, has the FX on it. So this has the picture in picture. So let me play this for a few seconds for you. This, on. this is coming through, if nothing else. I can show this with the with the GoPro. You can see if I if I pull this through, bring this back up, right there, do you see that lip, there's a lip right there, and there's a hole right there where that goes down, hopefully, I can hold this steady enough, this GoPro to get that shot, that just goes right down in there, and that goes right back down. So, as you got to see that little clip there, that little part of it, then you can see that obviously, it's, it's off by... I don't know, milliseconds, but uh, it's just, it's way too precise for me to, to sit here and mess with and try to get it perfect, but now down here, let's just go here to the very end, and then we'll show you this going out right back to just this one, so the picture in picture up here will disappear when this gets off. Uh, so far, I really, really do like it uh, for the for the movies and stuff. So as you can see, now we're at a full screen, the picture in picture is gone, and that's because, of course... This is blank, so it's only showing what's on this line, and then this is my audio down here. So, I'll go ahead and, and uh, get this all prepared to get it down to ending of the movie, and then we'll come back and, and save it uh, and export it. And then after that, it'll be time to upload it. So, I'll show you those couple of things, and hopefully that uh, this has been helpful. Finally, I have put a little behind-the-scenes footage on here for you, and so you'll be able to see that in the main video. And right here, you see I, I did my little outro clips there to, uh, to end this, so if I just play this little couple seconds here. Hopefully you've enjoyed everything, and uh, have a good day. Hello again, YouTube. You can see that the, the video and the audio, I don't know why I started over. The video and the audio fades out at the exact same time because of these, and it all goes to, to black and goes to quiet. So.
that's on that and of course I've already got the name loaded up here so all I gotta do is go up and hit file save moving that way make sure everything is is right up to date and then on here I simply would hit export and we'll wait for that little dialog to come up I've showed this to you on the last one but again to show you here so I'm gonna just export it as a file and pay for at 1080p and this gives you all the various little settings here that if you want to go into advanced you can change that stuff uh, but right here I want to go and I want to change this and put this in my tripod view right there we'll just say ok so you see it's going to go there and I can hit start export and uh, I will call it the same thing Tripod. Let's grab one of these. Take this off. We'll view the video. And it should be good. I'll save it. And then you'll see here it'll begin to export. See it says exporting frame at and then see it's in the 30s and 40s and 50s. But I, in total I got 21,087 frames in this video. Will take a little while, probably 10 or 15 minutes for it to, to finish exporting. But then, uh, as soon as that gets done, we'll come back and wrap this thing up.